Well, how many's ready for the word tonight? Amen. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, "Let us go yes. to the house of the Lord." Amen. Amen. So we can hear the word of God be preached. Amen. Be preached from what? King James Version. King James Version. Praise God. I like the post Brother Billy put on Facebook about he still believes that the King James Version is the only true version. Yes, Praise sir. God. And that is the truth today. Praise yes, God. Amen. We're not saying amen to God. I want to clear this up before people get on a rant and rave about it. We're, we've never said, praise God, that if you read another version, you're going to hell. All we're just simply stating is that you need to get into the King James Version because it is the closest we have to the original Amen. Hebrew and Greek, praise God, from any other translation out there. Amen. A lot of the newer trans, the modern translations are taking things out and they're adding things to that does not need to be done. And the book of Revelation gives a stern warning about that. Amen. It said any man that adds unto the sayings of this book, uh, what was it, the plagues that are written in this book will be added yeah, unto him. Yeah. But if any man shall take away from the things that are written in this book, his name, yeah. praise God. What does it say? He'd be taken out of the, the book yeah. of life Amen. or something like that. Yeah. Praise God. I didn't quote it word for word, but it's something to that. So that's what we try to explain to people. I was asked about that the other day. I had a gentleman. He said, well, I hear you take a strong stand for the King James Version Bible. And praise God, to me, it's a conviction, praise God. It's something that the Lord has laid on my heart, as well as each and every person here at VOTL. Praise God, it's just something that the Lord has laid on our heart, opened our eyes to, praise God. Because when your eyes are open to the truth, praise God, you can't go back to deceptive lies, amen? Amen. So that I wanted to make that clear, praise God, because people say you always harp on the King James Version. But praise God, that is why we stay with it, praise God, because it is the truth, praise God. Amen. The Bible says if you should know the truth, it will set you free, amen? Hallelujah. So we're going to get into the Word tonight. I'm not going to hold you too long, praise God. I've got something that's going to go along with this time of year, praise God, as well as it should be every day of the year, praise God. And I told you before we started that the phrase has been in my spirit most of the week, Great expectations, amen to God. And I guess that's what I'm going to call my message tonight is great expectations. Because the Lord wants us to come, praise God, to Him with that. He amen. wants us to come, praise God. Hallelujah. First off, we need to know who we are in Jesus, amen to God. We are children of the Most High God, amen. We were bought with a price, praise God, through what Christ did at Calvary, amen to God. And that blood is what paid the debt, praise God, of sin that me or you could never pay. Amen. Praise God, no matter how good we are, no matter how much money we give in the offering plate, no matter how many good works we go and do at the Salvation Army, feeding the hungry, praise God, going to the nursing homes, going to jail ministries and all that, no matter what we do, it was never enough to pay that debt. Because the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We were all sinners, praise God. We were all born with that sin nature, amen to God, because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. When Adam and Eve disobeyed the Lord, amen to God. Amen. And that's what it is. You know, sin is disobedience to God, amen to God. It's doing what the Lord tells you not to do, amen to God. When you know to do something right and you do the opposite, then that is sin, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I get so tired of people <laughs> characterizing sin. They'll say, praise God, that this guy killed 50,000 people over there, amen to God. But this person over here uh, stole some stuff from their job. In the, in the eyes of God, sin is sin. Amen? Oh, man. Thank you, Mom, for helping me. Amen on that. Praise God. Everybody got quiet on me. Hallelujah. But all I want to tell you tonight is praise God. Jesus loves you. Amen to God. Amen. And He's willing to forgive anything you've done if you confess it to Him and turn away from it and quit doing it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Go with me to Psalm chapter 84. Excuse me. Psalm chapter 84, verse 11. I've got... A lot of scriptures I'm going to throw at you tonight, so if you're taking notes, praise God, go ahead and do that. It's always good to write stuff down and go back and re restudy it back out because I'll tell you, you know, that all that does is build your faith up, praise God. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by what? The Word of God, amen? So it's always good to go back and study that out for yourself and to help you grow. Amen. Psalm chapter 84, verse 11. And the Bible declares, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. 
The Lord will give grace and glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from them that walk uprightly. <laughs> oh, man, that ought to get you excited right there. Amen. Amen. He said, no good thing will He withhold from you that walk uprightly. If you're following Jesus, amen, to God every step of the way, if you're living for Him, praise God, living in obedience to what He has called you to do, amen, to God, He made a promise to you that He's not going to withhold nothing good from you, but He's going to bless you with it. Amen? Amen. Oh, somebody look at your neighbor and say, praise God, He's going to bless me. Praise God. Amen. amen to God. More than I already am, amen to God. I'm blessed, amen to God. But He's going to not withhold no good thing from us, amen. but give it to us. Amen to His name. Praise God. And that falls in the line of healing, amen to God. Oh. That falls in the line of financial deliverance, amen. amen to God. That falls in the line of those lost Loved ones, praise God, oh. that you've been praying for, praise God, that God is going to bring back, amen, to God, to the altar. Amen. And they're going to repent, praise God, and give their life to Jesus, amen, to God, before He comes back, amen, to God. Amen. So they don't have to go to that place called hell that was created for the devil and his angels, amen. Hallelujah to God. I'm talking, God will give you favor with man. Praise God. He will give you favor with your enemies, and your enemies will bless you. Amen to God. How would you like an enemy to come up to you who's not liked you for years and say, hey, I just feel led to bless you with something. I just feel led to pray for you. Praise God. I feel led, amen to God, to take you out to eat. I feel led to give you money. I feel led to do this. Praise God. I just want to be a blessing to you. I'm telling you, that's what God will do. God will work in ways where man cannot see, praise God. But God, amen to God, will oh. work in mysterious ways. Amen. Hallelujah. That he gets the glory. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm jumping ahead of myself, but I still like it though. Because he went and they went fishing, praise God. And he caught a fish with money in his mouth. Come on. To pay the tax they owe. Don't tell me God can't bless you. Amen to God. Amen. And don't tell me God can't make a way. Because God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Amen to God. Amen. So we need to come with him with great expectation tonight. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the name. Hallelujah. Thank you for deliverance tonight. Thank you for victory we have in you because of what you did at the cross. Thank you, Lord God, that our sins are forgiven, Lord. Thank you that we're saved, dear God, that no harm has come upon us today. That, Lord, we're healed, dear God, that we've been set free, dear God. We thank you for these things. Lord, I pray you would touch those under the sound of my voice tonight. Let your word minister life to those listening to me here at VOTL, to those listening out there through VOTL radio, dear God, through Facebook, through YouTube, whatever avenue, dear God. Let it bring life and bring change in their life, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to just seek you daily, every day, Lord. And forgive us, Lord, where we failed you in any way. For we ask you all in Jesus' precious name. And everybody say it with me. Amen. amen. Amen and amen. That means we come into agreement. Because the Bible says we're two or three agree as touching on one thing. It will be done by the Lord. Amen. Amen. That still gets me excited. So God is in this thing to bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants to bless you. God is not a mean God. I want to tell you that right now. He is not mean. He is not sitting up on some big high throne with a long white beard, amen to God, because this is what uh, religion has told us, that he's not sitting on this big high throne with a long white beard and this big old tablet that every time you do wrong, he's writing it down so he can throw a lightning bolt at you. Come on. But it's the other way around. God is a loving, merciful God, praise God. God is it's not God's will that any man should perish, amen? Come on. The devil would have you perish, but not God. God wants to bless you. God wants to keep you, praise God. God wants to preserve you so you can do His work, praise God, which brings glory unto His name, amen to God. Amen. He wants you to expect things from Him, amen to God. And I, amen to God, I'm telling you tonight, I'm not talking no prosperity gospel here, but God will bless your finances if you trust Him, amen. Amen. If you pay your tithes and offerings to him, praise God, he will take care of you. He will. He promised in Malachi, he would rebuke the devourer, amen to God, that would try to come and take your harvest, amen. Amen. I'm not a prosperity preacher, so please don't think that. What I'm just simply telling you is, I stand upon the word of God, amen to God. And if the word says it, I believe it, and so and the same should go for you, praise God, because that's God's word for you and for us so we can overcome because his word, praise God, changes not. His word, amen to God, will last forever, praise God. You can take his word and bank on it, amen? Amen. 
The Bible says in John 10, 10, The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I love what Jesus said here. Yeah. He says, I am come yeah. that they might have life. And that they might have it more abundantly. Amen to God? Amen. Did you hear that? That you might have it more abundantly. That you might have, praise God, a life, praise God, full of riches and blessing. I don't mean riches as in money. Amen to God. I mean riches in the Lord. Amen to God. Divine favor of the Lord. Praise God. To where you're coming in and going out is blessed of Him. Amen to God. Satan doesn't want you to enjoy, praise God, what God has given you. He doesn't want you to enjoy your freedom in Jesus, amen to God. The devil wants you to be bound up by that sin, praise God, that you were forgiven of. That's why he torments people's minds today, amen to God. If somebody was in a lot of wrongdoings and sins and God forgave them, praise God, and they've been set free, Satan gets mad about that and he'll bring people along your way, amen to God, to say, you know what you did? You're a no good person. You did that. How can a God in heaven love you, praise God, after all you did. That's a lie from the pit of hell, amen to God. Because when God forgives you, He don't even remember it no more. Come on. Once it's under the blood of Jesus, He doesn't bring it back up no more. We're the ones doing it to Him. Amen. How many times have we seen in different churches, amen to God, in different just different forms where, praise God, an altar call is given. The same person will go back up for prayer because there's a condemning spirit on them by somebody other than the devil. It's used by church folks, amen to God. They'll keep people in bondage. Romans 8 1 says, there is thou therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Amen? amen. Hallelujah to God. So don't let the devil, amen to God, tell you that you're still bound up by that sin. We've all been forgiven if we've asked Jesus to forgive us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's what our face is about is trusting in Him, amen, to God. He wants us to have a fullness of life, spiritually, emotionally, praise God. And I'll tell you, some folks, I'm going to stop on that for a second. People, praise God, they've got so many emotional problems today, hallelujah. They're so bound up, they're having to, and I'm not meaning this in a rude way, but they're having to take drugs just to get some relief, amen, to God, to get peace of mind. And all that stuff is just corrupting and polluting your mind and your body system. That's why people are getting sick and they're dying quicker. If the truth be known, if you research a lot of these medications they're giving people today, praise God, it's causing you to die quicker. Come on. I know for me, when I had my wisdom teeth taken out, I had to take some, I think it's called Laura Tab is what it was. And that stuff made me so loopy, so out there. I tell you, I thought I was seeing things run around, amen to God. I mean, it just messes your mind up. Then the next day, you're sick physically. I was so sick, I, I just wanted to almost vomit, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hunter, you need to, you need to settle down a little bit, praise God. Hallelujah. But it just made you made me physically sick, hallelujah. And I tell you, that stuff is not good, but people are trusting in that today more than they are Jesus, amen? And we've got to get our trust back in Him, trust back in His Word, amen? Amen. Jesus also spoke of life as a vine that either bears fruit or no fruit or much fruit. John chapter 15, verses 1 through 5 declares, He says, I am the true vine, and my Father is His husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Amen? Amen. Now ye are clean through the word. Hallelujah. Come Did on. you get that? Ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. The word will cleanse you, praise God. If you let the word take full root in your life, it will cleanse you. It will keep you pure in God. Amen? Come on. You are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Hallelujah. Verse number 4. Thank you, Jesus. If I can get my page here, it's stuck. Thank God for stuck pages. Amen. He said, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. Amen. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. Amen. Amen. And that's what he's saying tonight. If you're in Jesus, you can do all things through him. But without him, amen to God, you can't do nothing. Nothing will be productive, amen. Anyway, a lot of folks today have chosen. They have chose to go down the road without Jesus. Jesus didn't call them to do a certain work. 
But they feel, praise God, either they feel that this is what the Lord wants them to do, or some people has boasted them up into doing that. They've talked them up, well, you can do this and do that. Amen to God. And they're not being blessed. They're not receiving God's blessing on the work because He never called them to do it. Amen? Come on. So without Jesus, you can do nothing. He spoke a seed that never grew, and some other seed that did grow, some multiplying 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. Mark chapter 4, verses 2 through 8. And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass as he sowed. Some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Some fell on the stony ground where it had, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. Verse 7, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And others fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and it brought forth some thirty, some sixty, and a hundredfold. Amen to God. Hallelujah. The seeds you plant, praise God. You know, the seeds you plant in people's lives, amen to God, it will spring up. Some 30, some 60, 100. Amen to God. Amen. You just have to keep watering that seed, praise God. And God ultimately will give the increase. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that, praise God. Of course, that is used a lot in about money. And, and I believe God can do that with money as well. But I believe also it's used a lot more for souls as well. Come because on. there's a lot of souls out there tonight that have heard the gospel, but the seed that was planted and it got watered a couple times, if you don't take care of plants, if you don't water them after so long, they're going to die. Amen. And what has happened in some people's lives, they got the seed planted and it was watered a little bit. But then it just got neglected. Nobody, they didn't pray no more, they didn't read the word, they didn't go fellowship. Nobody came and seen on them, nobody prayed with them, praise God. Nobody Mom. helped them out, praise God. And what happened, they got into a backslidden state and Mom. praise God, they just walked away from Jesus. Walked away from the one who would take care of them, who would bless them. Praise God. Praise God. He wants us to get into that fold where He will protect us. Amen to God. Because if you're under His wings, amen to God, He's not going to let the devil bother you. Come on. He's going to keep you safe, amen to God. Because anything we do in Jesus, praise God, He's going to bless it as long as it lifts Him up. Amen. Hallelujah. Is this all right? Praise amen. God. Because I tell you tonight, the Lord wants you to expect from Him. He wants to bless you. More than you are now. I mean, we hear that term thrown out. I'm blessed. Bless me, Lord. Bless him, Jesus. I mean, we've all said it. I've said it and everybody else. But when we really get down to it, amen to God, that word bless means so much more than just throwing it out. It means blessing them by a smile or this or that. I mean, he is really just wanting to open the floodgates of heaven and say, here, bless my children, praise God, on what they're doing for me. Because anytime He gives you a blessing, He wants you to turn around and bless somebody else. Come on. So if He pours out on me, He wants me to pour out on you. And yeah. vice versa, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The law of sowing and reaping. I mean, it's just, it's natural. If you sow love into somebody's life, amen to God, you're going to get love back. Amen. Come on. If you sow anger and bitterness towards somebody, that's what you're going to get back. It always works like that. But for some reason, the modern day church has made it all about the financial dollar. Yeah. And it's sad, though, because it, when you talk to people about blessing, and the first thing they say is, well, I don't want to get involved with that because of that old TV garbage. I mean, that really, that really puts a damper on what God can do for people because people don't believe it because there's been so much damage done in that area of blessing that God wants to bless you with. Amen? Amen. He doesn't want, want to withhold any good thing from us that are walking uprightly. Amen? Come on. So we've got to remove all obstacles in our lives that is keeping God at a distance from us. We've got to allow God to love us. We've got to allow His forgiveness in our lives if we've done wrong. Amen? We've got to accept it. Amen to God. I know for me, I went through a period of time after what all happened four years ago that I just didn't feel like I knew the Lord had forgiven me, but I had to forgive myself. Amen to God. How, no matter how, many, how much people told me, they said, Brother Mike, the Lord has forgiven you. Now you need to forgive yourself and move on. 
But I couldn't accept that. And until I did, I couldn't receive the full blessing God had for me to walk in a peaceful mind, praise God, to walk in freedom and understand what true, amen, liberty was in Christ. Amen. Because I was bound up by the enemy. The enemy told me, praise God, hallelujah, that nobody will forgive you of that, that that, that will be a plague on you, hallelujah, God. Oh. But I knew he was a liar, praise God, because I stand here today. I have forgiven myself. The Lord has forgiven me because I tell you, if God can forgive Give you anybody should forget, amen, amen. That God should forgive themselves of anything because there is no sin that is greater or smaller in His sight. But see, that he, that's the kind of God we serve that loves us no matter what we do, He still loves us, no matter what we've done to Him. Look at what they did to Him at Calvary, Mom. treated Him like a dog, yeah. beat Him mercifully, run Him down. Just the slander part right there would get a bunch of us today, amen. How many has ever been slandered in here? Or had somebody talk about you behind your back and then you later found out. Amen? Am I the only one? Praise oh, God. Thank on. you, brother, for your honesty. Amen? We all have. Amen to God. Amen. But God wants us to let all this go. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Praise God. That's what the old song used to say. Give Him all your burdens and your care, for He loves you. Amen? Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm loved by Jesus. Amen. Now, now, just let that soak in for a minute. Jesus loves you. Amen. I mean, He really loves and cares for you tonight. And every day, praise God. When you go to bed tonight, He's still going to love you. Amen. He loves you more and more and more every day. And our prayer should be, Lord, help us to love each other as you love us. Help us, amen, to God to love ourselves as you love us. Not in a, not in a vain say, not in a good conceited sense, but in a way, praise God, if you can't love yourself, how can you love your brother or sister? How can you show them love, praise God? Come on. We've got to get back into doing that. We've got to accept His love and mercy. Accept what He wants to give to us tonight and each and every day. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. God wants to bless us. And the amazing thing about it is His math and our math always don't match up. Amen. Praise God, because I tell you, if we had our way, it would be our math, and His math would be second, it would be our way. And that's what a lot of us do. We want God to conform to what we want, instead of us conforming to what He wants. We try, the creation tries to overtake the Creator. How many have ever heard that before? That the creation will try to overtake the Creator, praise God. Or, or have you ever watched those old karate movies where the teacher would teach the student and get him taught right. And then eventually the student would turn on his master. Y'all ever Amen. seen that? Yeah. And that's what a lot, the devil tells you today, well, praise God, you can be just like God is. That was a lie he tried to spring forth in the garden there. If you eat that fruit, you'll be just like God is. Come on. And he's telling people that today. Amen to God. Hallelujah. You don't have to do this because you're, I mean, this lie that he's going around is you're already little gods. I mean, that word of faith doctrine tells people, praise God, they're little gods, they're little Jesuses. Come on. To me, there's one Jesus. I'm not Jesus and you're not Jesus. There's only one Jesus, praise God, and that's the one that died at Calvary. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah to God. There is a spirit of antichrist in the world that's perverting the, the gospel, but praise God, the true gospel will always shine out, praise God, like a light in the darkness. Amen? Amen. So let's take a look now at his spiritual arithmetic. Amen? How many like arithmetic in school? Amen. Whatever I can learn of it, amen. I liked it. Hallelujah. In 1 Peter 2 1, it said, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guilt and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, we got to rid ourselves of these things, praise God, or subtract it from our lives. Amen? Amen. We've got to subtract the wrong attitudes, the ill will of people, the insincerity, the pretense, the jealousy, the bitterness, the hatefulness, anything else that's hidden in your heart that is not like God's heart, amen to God. You've got to subtract it from your lives because that is what's keeping you from His very best, amen? They'll spoil your life. How many know sin will spoil your life, amen? Yeah. How many has ever had an apple before? It looks good on the outside, all nice and red. But when you take a bite into it, it's all mushy and black. 
Amen to God, just Amen. like like old black applesauce. How many's ever had one of those before? I mean, the outside looked beautiful. An old green Granny Smith apple, amen to God, with the little dots on it, amen to God. Where you know you just, I'm going there, praise God. You know you want to take peanut butter and smear it all over it, amen to God. Let's get me all excited here. Hallelujah to God. Smear peanut butter all over that thing with some raisins on it, praise God. I know some folks don't like that, but praise God, I do, man. I tell you, it's good. It's a good snack, amen to God. But when you bite in that thing, and then you look at that black, mushy stuff, ew. I mean, that, you know, it just took it all out, praise God. Because people, what they do, they try to decorate this outside up, praise God. Make it all looking good, amen to God. Putting on the fancy clothes, the makeup, the hairdos, amen to God. All that stuff, but on the inside, it's black and mushy, full of sin, praise God. That only the blood of Jesus can wash away and make you whole again, amen. Amen. Praise God, and all that's from all the wrongdoings, the things we need to subtract from our lives, praise God, that's keeping us from the blessings of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. When you read the Old Testament, all you read about is the don'ts. Don't do this. Don't do that. If you do this, you're going to feel the wrath of God and so forth. But in the New Testament, He puts the emphasis on do. Amen to God? Amen. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, He wants us to do. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. He wants us to go out into the world and Come minister on. the gospel to those that are lost. That's a do thing right there. He wants us to pick up the lame, amen to God, at the gate, so to speak. Praise God. He wants us to encourage our brothers Come and sisters. On. He wants us to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, amen to God. Amen. Visit those that are, amen to God, fatherless and motherless and the widows, praise God. He wants us to do these things because when you've done it, praise God, unto them, you have done it unto me, Jesus said. Hallelujah. That is to do what He wants you to do. He wants you to stay in the Word, praise God, so your faith to grow. Anything He says do, amen to God, is going to be for your benefit. Amen. Praise God, which turns back around and He gets a blessing from it because He said, that's my child, amen to God, that's, I poured myself into Him. Look what He's doing for the kingdom. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants you to stay in this world so your faith will grow. Because when your faith grows, faith is what moves the hand of God. Amen? Amen. It's not anything you can do, praise God. It's your faith in Him. That's how you're born again is when you trust in Jesus. Amen? And the funny thing about it, the same faith you had to believe for salvation is the same faith you have to believe for your healing. Come on. I don't know why that we get them all categorized different. We think you got to have some spooky ooky faith. Benny Hinn talks about the anointing, and I'm not trying to be uh, mean towards him, but he makes the anointing like it's some ooky pooky wooky thing. Hallelujah, where you've got to be in a certain league, at a certain level, at a certain day, on a certain time to get this. No, you can have it right now, praise Lord. God. Jesus Christ is the anointed one. He is the anointed, amen to God. Amen. And that anointing breaks that yoke of bondage. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to talk like Count Dracula, praise God, to have the anointing. You don't have to do that, praise God. You just got to be obedient to Him and let Jesus have His way. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're talking about holy and we're holy and all like that. You ain't got to do that. Kenneth Copeland talks about you got to reach a certain level of maturity in God before He anoints you. That's a lie from hell, amen to God. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell it like it is. Jesus Christ will anoint you to do what He wants you to do. Amen. Man, why does people get so deceived? Because they take their eyes off Jesus and focus it on other things. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. That, that preach, amen to God. Woo. I have to do that another time, though. Thank you, Lord. So what do we need to add to our lives? The Bible says 2 Peter 1.5 And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. Amen. He said to add virtue to your faith. Virtue means excellence or simple goodness. He wants you to excel. He wants you to be good at whatever you do for Him. Amen to God. So add, amen to God, faith, virtue to your faith. Praise God. The Bible says in Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Did you see that? Everything Jesus did, He did it for the glory of God. Amen. And there was not one time Jesus wouldn't do something for somebody. And, or when you would hear Him, praise God, He would say, Thy faith has made you whole. 
Yeah. Because they believed in him. The centurion, praise God. Hallelujah. He went to Jesus. His servant was sick. Amen to God. On the verge of death. He said, Jesus said, I'll come to your home. He said, No, just speak your word. Come on. He says, I'm not worthy to have you under the roof of my home. He says, I have men that are under me. I tell this one goes and he goes. Amen to God. I tell this one do this and he does that. Praise God. He said, I just need you to speak the word because I believe you, Lord. And Jesus said, it is done as you said. Come on. Praise God. And that's what he's saying to us tonight. It is done as he said. You just got to hold him in his word. That's what he wants you to do. Amen. If a bill collector said, praise God, I've said this before. If they've given you, they had a contest about a year or so back, I heard on the radio, that they were going to pay all your bills for a year. Your home mortgage, your utilities, your if you owe a car note or anything, your insurance. They would pay all your bills for one year, one calendar year. Praise God. And they said the way that contest worked, the winner of it, they would give them a slip that said mortgage payment paid for 12 months, car payment, it would specify what was paid. And then if anybody from that company would call and say, hey, you're behind, no, I have this note, this promissory note, hallelujah to God. How many knows we've got a promissory note, praise God, at the cross, hallelujah. Amen. we got a promissory note, praise God, that we just hold up and say, praise God, it's taken care of, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You would stake your stand on that, praise God. And that's what we have in this Word of God as well, a promissory note. Amen to God. That we can tell the devil, listen devil, all my debts are paid because of what amen. he did. Amen to God. This is my promissory note. This is, amen to God, what I stand oh. on. On the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, a K-J-B, amen to God. King James Version 1611 Bible is what you need to stand on tonight. Amen. That's your promissory note, praise God. He said in Matthew 5, 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I love when Brother Billy says at the end of each service, he says, Go out and be a light into the world. Amen to God. The darkness. Hallelujah. You may be the only light they see. Praise God. You may be the only Bible, praise God, they ever read. The only Jesus they ever see, praise God, is in you. That's why you've got to live what you say. Practice what you preach. Put your faith in action. Amen to God. Let them know that Jesus is all right. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so after goodness, we add knowledge, it said. God's blessings are multiplied in our lives through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Amen? Amen. So the question is, how do you get to know somebody? You need to spend time with them. Amen? Amen. You need to talk to them. You need to, praise God, learn about them. Amen to God? Come on. This don't happen overnight. I didn't get to know the Lord, praise God, just by, hallelujah, uh, talking one five-minute conversation. If she would tell you our conversations with me talking, hallelujah. Amen. And she, I think she talked maybe 20 minutes of me 10 hours. <laughs> hallelujah. I keep going, amen to God. I don't stop. She told me, first conversation we had, amen to God. I know she can hear me, praise God. She said, well, I'm going to have to let this soak in and just talk to you some other time. I mean, I poured it all out about the Lord, amen to God. I told her what Jesus had called me to do, everything I'd been doing for Jesus, amen to God. I think it overwhelmed her, praise God. <laughs> I'll never forget that conversation. I didn't, get, I didn't get a call back from her, I think, for a week or so. Hallelujah, God. I just thought, well, well, praise God. Another one gone. <laughs> That's what I said, praise God. But she called back, though. Amen. God, hallelujah. Expect her to come out here in a minute. Glory to God. Get me. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 6, it said, And to knowledge you add temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness. Amen? Amen. After knowledge, we've got to add temperance or self-control in our lives. We can easily be controlled by bad habits, emotions, another person. We've got to let, praise God, Jesus control us. Praise God. If He's in us, praise God, and we're letting Him flow through us, amen to God, we will show people what Jesus truly, who Jesus truly is and what He truly wants to do for us. Amen? Amen. Because without self-control, these things, your impulses, your bad habits, your temper, people, they'll hold you as captive in prison. But Jesus wants you free. Amen to God? Amen. When He is your Lord and Savior and your Master, He sets you free. Amen? 
Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 13, But he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved. Amen? Come on. Hang in there with Jesus, praise God. If you drop the ball, pick it up and get going again. In other words, if you make a mistake, hallelujah to God, just hey, shake it off, make it right with God, and get back up and get on your journey, praise God. Come on. Paul said we're running a race, praise God. And at the end of this race, we're going to get a prize, amen to God. How many knows that that prize, amen to God, is something more than what this world has to offer, amen? amen. I'll tell you right now, we've got salvation in Jesus tonight. But I'll tell you, when we get to the end, to that finish line, whether it be by the grave or whether it be by the rapture, amen to God, one way the way it's going to be when we get there, praise God, we're going to get that prize, amen to God. We're going to get to spend eternity with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We won't have to worry no more about, praise God, going to a funeral and saying goodbye to a loved one. We won't have to worry no more about physical pain in our bodies. We won't have to worry about being done wrong by anybody because, praise God, that's all going to be done away with. Amen? Amen. I tell you, God is making things new, praise God. He's gone to prepare a place for us, praise God, that where He is, we may be also. Amen. Man, that gets me excited because every day I hear people complain, I'm getting older, I'm getting older, I'm getting this, I'm getting that. I look at it this way, I'm getting one day closer to Him. Amen. To seeing Him, praise God. I feel Him every day, I know He's with me, but I want to see Him, I want to worship Him and be at His feet, praise God, and loving Him. Oh, just, laying, just laying myself on Him, praise God, and just adoring, adoring the One. Praise God who had such mercy and grace upon a sinner such as I. Praise God that He's saved by His amazing grace. Amen. And that's what it truly is today. His amazing grace. Hallelujah to God. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. How many knows what I'm talking about in here tonight? Amen. Praise God. That when Jesus showed you that amazing grace, praise God, nobody else would but Jesus, praise God. When He knelt down there with you and said, I love you, praise God. I love you with the love that this world, praise God, could never give you. Praise God. I'll forgive all your sins and wrongdoing. Hallelujah Amen. God. How many knows that that is amazing grace, praise God. And that sounds so sweet to me. Go over to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God wants you to know that you're blessed tonight. Amen. He said also in 2 Peter 1, 7, And to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity, which means love. Amen to God. That is something we all need more of is the love of God. Amen. If you can't love your brothers and sisters here today, how are you going to praise God and say you love Jesus? Amen. Because if they no. serve Jesus, you've got to love them too. And it's hard sometimes to love people that's done you wrong. I tell you, you really have to stand up and let God work through you. Amen. You've got to love them. Praise God. Human nature says, praise God, it, it makes sense to love your friends and to hate your enemies. But Jesus said, love your enemies, no matter how bad, love them. Amen. Because love will break that chain of bitterness and hatefulness off your life. I tell you, if you can forgive somebody, remember when you were forgiven, how did it feel? Think about when you forgive somebody when they've done you wrong. How it sets them free. And it sets you free, really, too, because I tell you, a lot of people that there's grudges against Sister Reese. The people that they've got the grudge against, they don't know they're in bondage. It's the person that's holding it against them. They're the ones really in the bondage right there. Amen. And until they're set free from it. Come on. Until it happens, so they forgive. They're going to stay in that, that, that cell. Amen to God. That, that prison. Bound up and captive. So add that love, praise God, to your life each and every day. And let the love of Jesus, amen, to God, shine so broad to where it ministers to people. He said in John 13, 35, By this shall all men know that you're my disciples, if ye have love one for another. Praise God. I tell you, when forgiveness truly is given, that's one of the greatest blessings you can ever get right there. Amen. One of the greatest blessings. But there's so much more in God. So I'm telling you tonight, Add these things, amen to God. Add all these things to your life and let the negative go. Take that subtraction out because if you, you know what a subtraction, it's just a straight line. 
but an addition sign adds a line to it which makes a cross. Because oh, we're to God. Oh, somebody ought to, y'all get that, do you? Praise God. That subtraction sign is just a line, but an addition sign, you add a line with it, and it makes a cross. Praise Amen. God. And there's so much more that can be added to you when you get to Jesus and the cross. Hallelujah to God. That gets me all excited. Praise God. Because He's adding all these things. Praise God to you. Amen. Stand with me to your feet tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's helped anybody or not. Hallelujah. I'm going to read one last scripture and we're closing. Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Come on. You're blessed tonight. Amen. Amen. The devil's a liar when he tells you you're not. You're blessed. I don't care if you've got a big mansion on the hill or you've got a two-room shack with no bathroom, praise God. You are blessed because you're a child of God. Amen? Amen. Father, thank you for the word tonight that we received. Thank you, Lord God, that we are your children, Lord God, bought by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for the blessings you have promised us, Lord. So you said, I would bless those and hold no, withhold no good thing to those who walk uprightly. Thank you for that, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that we can put this word into action, Lord. Help us to love those, dear God, that has done us wrong, and to forgive those as you have forgiven us. Lord, be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight on the highways, dear God, and the byways. We plead the blood over each person here tonight, Lord. Guide us home safely, Lord. Help us rest peacefully tonight. In Jesus, Jesus' precious name. And everybody said? Amen. amen and amen. amen. Brother Isaac, you got the reading, the scripture reading you want to do, brother? Amen.